out of the start gate into the first rock section with some updates. We've had a couple of changes over the years. Now we're going to be going a little faster, getting a little bit of air and jumping in. These flat sweeper corners are a little bit loose, so it's going to be pretty wild. So you hang on tight. Brap. <laughs> catch a little corner a little bit of an update for these rocks but you know just send her checkers or wreckers baby another tight corner cleaned up this section and here's the next big update we're going to be going inside through the trees this time carrying a little bit better speed through the rocks make it a little bit easier for you to carry momentum into this section a couple of updates as well through here a couple of cleanups a couple of safety checks under the bridge, full speed. And a new jump out here to get out onto the road. And here's a big point. The bunting is set up a little bit wrong right this second, pretty early for this video, but we're going to be doing some ski corners out in the grass to the right, left, right, left a couple times, back in. It's going to check the speed up a little bit so we're not going warp factor nine immediately, but we're still going to get back up to that, you know, thousand miles an hour that everyone loves. Oh boy, we're cooking right now. <laughs> I mean, if you got your fingers on the brakes, come on, we're racing, man. Let's go. We're going fast. Hang on, Ricky Bobby. Oh! Right about now, you're probably getting a bit worried about going so fast for so long. Don't worry, we're going to check you up. Here's the World Cup Rock Garden. Had a couple of details changed, a little bit smoother in the beginning, but still rough as ever. Oh, yeah. Just pummeling those rocks. And a couple of new features, a little jump here. Instead of the rollers, now we've got some drops. Rop. New drop here. The moon booter has gotten a little bit of an update, so now we're gonna have a little bit more fun. And here's a huge update for the course that y'all are gonna love. High speed through the grass to the outside to this huge lip for a 45 foot right hip table. Safe for everybody to go and try her but you can't go too fast for it. Then back up into a new wood section, pretty hard off camber. It's not quite ridden in yet. And there's gonna be a couple of updates as we go along uh, during the week. This is pretty early in the process. But then back into the section we all know and love, a couple of tight, sweet berms to change up the rhythm. Dropping into the woods, picking up the pace again. Oh yeah, hold the high line, holding it back out into the open and here's a new feature for the, this year we've got instead of the corkscrew we've got the steep shoot cross the corkscrew new right hand berm pedal out in the open coming into drops and lollipops there have been a lot of updates through here so we're definitely going to be going faster and farther and gnarlier and a couple of whips here if you want them or you can straight air it like a racer whatever your preference no ladder bridge there, so we're going even faster. About 35 feet out of that sucker. And finally, an update on the step up. It's going to be really fun to see how this goes for the race. Coming in fast. Do the road gap. The old road gap. And then back into some high speed. We're almost there, hang on. Moving real fast through the speed trap. Couple little singles. Carrying your speed super quick. Oh man, some dust catching somebody. All right. Couple of berms and the World Cup road gap. A little bit of air time for the fans. You're almost there, hang on. You're going real fast. Yo! The Daytona berm, hang on for NASCAR. Dropping into the bottom of Candyland.